Here you go. Watch Thank it, it's you. hot. Well, I'm glad you didn't mind my coming by like this. Oh, why would I? You know, I've never forgotten how nice you were to me the night of your parents' anniversary party. I mean, you didn't have to be, especially the way Seth and I were going at it. I love Seth very much, and I'm trying to understand the situation. It's difficult for him to even talk to you. This is a very emotional issue for his family. Well, yes, it is, and, and, and that's what... And that's part of the reason why I'm staying here, because I, I think if I'm around long enough, maybe they'll decide that I'm, I'm not the monster that they think I am. Well, actually, I came by to ask you a favor. Um, Dr. Michaels, who's a staff psychiatrist memorial, is, uh -huh. is teaching a special session at Oakdale University this summer. Hmm. It's about the effects of child abuse. It's something that I'm particularly interested in. And I know it would be a tremendous help to us if we were able to speak with someone who's experienced it and is still dealing with the repercussions. Of course, if um, you'd rather not talk about it, I, I would understand. I, I just don't know if I could. Especially to strangers. I mean, it, Franny, I'd really like to help you, but I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure if I could. I understand. I understand. Uh, but what do you think about it? You could be a tremendous help to a lot of people who experienced it. You really believe me, don't you? I mean, about the abuse. I believe you. I don't believe you'd make it up. I took the liberty of discussing it with Dr. Michaels. I, I didn't mention your name. And she said she'd be willing to give you free counseling in exchange for your help. She's very good, I think. I don't want to pressure you, but I, I would appreciate it if you, if you think about it. Now I'd better get going. Seth's going to pick me up for the wedding. Here, I'll get the door for you. Thank you. I'm glad you stopped by. Well, it wasn't something I could talk to you about. Thank you. It's the first time I've seen you since all hell broke loose in my life. came by to try to talk to them reasonably, but just turned into another argument. I'm sure glad to see you walk up when you did. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah. Um, listen, I, I have to be, uh, I have to be honest with you. Um, before I left to go back east, I told you that I couldn't spend time alone with you anymore, and I didn't want you just dropping by my house because it just makes things difficult between me and Sally. I know. That's why I deliberately didn't come by. And I even really wanted to talk to you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, but now that I know about it, having a baby, it makes it even more, more awkward. I can understand what the Snyders went through trying to keep it a secret all this time. I, listen, I'm going to be married to Seth in, in three months. I'm going to be a close part of this family for the rest of my life. Are you telling me that you're taking on their hatred of me? No, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm saying that I hope you continue your sessions with Dr. Michaels. Hopefully she can help you get rid of some of your anger. Wish the best. I can't be in the middle anymore. Thanks for being honest with me, Freddy. I wish you the best, too. But in spite of everything... I'm going to stay on here and fight for a little relationship with my daughter. I can't change the way she was conceived. But maybe I can make her life a little more secure from here on in. Okay, good luck. Yeah.